Hello and welcome to The Long View. So as you can see, uh, Supercell has released a, a new game called Everdale. It's actually technically in a sort of beta, only available in certain uh, territories. Um, this is from the UK, also Canada, um, a few others as well. This is from obviously from the Apple App Store playing on an iPad. So um, let's go in and uh, do a first time user experience um, where we just basically play for the first time and see and see what happens. So let's hit open. And uh, Follow the steps. Normally, Supercell is very good at getting you into a game very quickly. So, when we talk about um, first-time user experience, what we're really interested in is how much friction is there in the system. How many, um, how many sort of things you have to tap on to get in the game. How, how much, um, how many, how many ways are there in which the player can um, somehow not get into the game, <laughs> which is obviously a bad thing. Um, so, um, we're just watching the. The video is sort of set in the scene. Actually, th this sort of intro video um, can be a bit of a turn off for people because this is, you know, um, do you want to watch all this? Are you actually going to learn anything? I don't know. Um, it wasn't too long. So hopefully now something's going to come up. Okay, so uh, terms of services, usual sort of stuff that we get now, thanks to various uh, privacy <laughs> legislation. Um, so everyone just hits accept, I'm sure. Um, so interesting, we see this now. You see it's signing me in uh, using my Game Center account, um, and it's saying, "Do I want push notifications?" Normally, when people do this, I'm quite surprised Supercell have done this right here. Um, normally, you you try and build this into into the flow a bit better. So normally, I say no. Um, and now we can see we're sort of straight into the game. So here we are. It looks like my uh, this looks like something I might be taking over here. Um, a little village, Francis the librarian. Okay. Um, oh, I'm a librarian, am I? Oh, I see. Yes, Carolina is the um, is the sort of the uh, avatar who takes you through stuff. Um, so it looks like it's it's assigned me as a librarian, which is not a, <laughs> not a bad thing to be. Um, my monocle will be bigger, right? Uh, tell me more about this valley. Oh, um, oh, so that's, no, so, so that's Francis the librarian. Okay, that was confusing. Um, okay, the valley is a bustling city hub where you can build trade, build and trade with other explorers. So this game, as you can sort of um, get the impression of, it is a sort of. Uh, Looks like it sort of has some farming elements, doesn't it? Um, looks like sort of farming, crafting, trading sort of sort of thing. Um, from the if we didn't know anything about the game, we might be picking up here. This is not a a clash game. This is not a, a violent game. This is the design of this is, is is a peaceful game. So build my humble settlement into a thriving village and join us there soon. Okay, so right, so now so um, now I guess I'm going to have to do something. So what prompts am I going to get? A new building is available. So recommended things to do. Um, Drag the home icon to an open spot and drag it in place. This is sort of a weird, weird UI. Um, so drag drag um, this one, I guess, yeah. So there's a little arrow showing me. Not a very good arrow, actually. Grey. So I'm going to drag this, and you can see now where I can place it. So I can have two of them there. I could then put, I don't really know um, where positioning would be. Um, let's put it there and spend, obviously, um, coins. So I'm going to spend 100 coins, and it looks like... Um, they are construction requires a villager. Okay, so that's where nothing's happening. Um, select the home that's under construction and tap the assigned villager. So there's the um, pile of stuff, and that's the villager. Uh, and here is oh, so Carolina herself will be will be going to do that for me. So um, lots of games have had this sort of mechanic. Where's she off to now? Oh, <laughs> oh she's getting wood, is she? Okay. Um, so you know, lots of get sort of games over the years, really over the decades, have had this sort of mechanic where you have little villagers who, who you, you uh, need to help you fulfil tasks. Um, and now I'm going to get the little reveal because it's all in a little package. And I'm going to choose who should live there: Nicholas, Santiago, or Helena. Well, let's go for Santiago, shall we? Um, so um, a little greenhouse, a green roof at least. So start by building a place where you can research Village Essentials. So we're sort of getting the, you know, this is sort of me, it depends on what you play, sort of sort of a theme village sort of sort of thing going on here. Um, oh, wow, that's a big one. Um, uh, should we put that, try and keep these, I never know, I'm sure we can move them around. So it's going to be 50, and now I'm going to have to assign, I guess, um, Santiago to go off and do that. Um, oh, can I, assign, can I assign another one? I can assign Carolina as well. Okay, so let's go and speed it up. Oh, um, I don't know what's happening there. Researching education skills unlocks villages. Okay, good to know. Um, oh, do I? Do what this is going to be? She's currently wearing the selected outfit. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, so we finished that. There we go. So massive. Oh, uh, start building up on the way. Oh, my missions. Okay. 
So ready to start research, researching the new thing I've got. Um, enter the study and find the level up wood storage on the research tree. So um, uh, choose a project you'd like to research. Um, okay, that's interesting to put a time to do that. So this is sort of the skill tree, going to start research. Um, let's choose old Santiago, get him going. Can I choose another one? Assign village. Okay, so that's all. Go, go off and do that. Doesn't look like there's any speeding up at the moment, although this is just going through the tutorial. So obviously, in, in the tutorial, um, features can be um, kind of you know kind of a, a simplified, um, to, so people can sort of you know it's hold it's holding your hands through this um, rather than being the fully featured game. So it looks like something's happened there. Um, I've leveled up wood story. It's interesting. I mean, I'm playing this on an iPad Pro, but the uh, the UI looks very small. Um, uh, which is sort of interesting, I guess, if you were thinking about playing it on a phone, um, just yeah, all that sort of stuff. I, maybe, I, I can't, you know, I, I don't know, I, I won't say what I was going to say because it would probably be wrong. Um, okay, that's how you pile logs. Uh, now this, an exciting development. Let's upgrade the wood storage. Oh, that sounds exciting. So, wood storage. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, enter the study and find up the, and find level up kitchen, uh, kitchen, village kitchen. And or um, select wood storage and tap up. I don't know where my wood storage is. Is that my wood storage here? Wood storage, okay. Level up, okay. Let's go and do that. Select a, um, it's kind of weird you can't do, it's weird there's a separate separate step in order to choose the village. I guess that may be important sort of later on maybe. Okay, let's go and do some more research. We've got to, what did I want to do? I want to do the um, uh, kitchen, yes. So, um, oh, so I can do it there. Um, So, um, looks like she's finished that. Or oh, has she? No, is she? Yes. Looks like she's finished that. Um, research complete. That's kind of weird there's not more graphics around that. Um, so these things are... Okay, so that's kind of how you sort of... If you tap on them, you can sort of... Oh, so is she working? I don't know. Um, what's this? Fountain ruins. Well, we should surely do something with that at some point, but obviously not yet. Okay, so there's a little um, icon there when we complete that uh, research. Let's, let, oh, the village kitchen, okay. Well, where is my village kitchen? Oh, this must be the village kitchen. I guess that's the next thing, pumpkin soup. Yeah. More wood required to upgrade. Okay. Assign a village to get more wood. Um, okay, so, all right, so we're going to chop down the trees, I guess. I wonder if you mean the trees will actually disappear. Yeah, there's a lot of trees there. Um, okay, so... Uh, Oh, yeah, did they? No, they're not. They're not going. They're not disappearing, are they? Interesting. Or are they? Are they? No, they are. Okay. Um. So, can I level this up now? Yes, I can. So off goes. Oh, they're not selecting. Off goes Santiago. To do that, what's over here? Trading Otto's trading booth. Traders are always German, aren't they? Hasanic League or something. Um, what else have we got going on down here? Oh, okay, that's my sort of the arch. Oh, what's in there? That looks interesting. Dormant Ever Grove. Right, upgrade required is a villager. Uh, wood storage. Are we going to upgrade the wood storage? So this is going to be uh, Carolina. Um, and as I say, it doesn't see, appear to be any. What's that? Is that? No, there doesn't seem to be any speeding up. I'm trying to think. See, we have got some hard currency here. It's obviously not taking us through currency at the moment. We can see the soft currency, which I'm sort of getting and spending. There's like food and wood. That's the resources. Um, it doesn't look like it's gonna let me pick that. that um, in the top right hand corner, there's a blue sort of gem type thing. Will obviously be a hard currency. Right. So is what Santiago doing? He's waiting for wood. Oh. Um, well. Oh, I think it's done though, isn't it? Um, so he's not really waiting for wood. Um, wood storage. Okay. And what's she doing? Nothing. Okay, can we do the soup? No, that's just... Uh... Oh, we need some more wood for that. I see. So, um, we'll... Let's go and do that. I wonder if at some point we can actually plant trees as well. That would be sort of the logical scenario, wouldn't it? Oh, there's another one of these here. Uh, two ever, ever... Glows, gather groves, and some gold looks like there. Ah, mushrooms. Okay, we'll see. Get some mushrooms. Let's send someone to pick some mushrooms. 
And what's that? A weird little thingy, what's it? Okay, so that's gone in my wood storage and looks like um, he can now goes back to his original task, does he? No. I need to assign someone to go and do that. So this is actually quite micromanagement actually. This is um it was kind of interesting when this game was sort of announced or when we first heard about it, it's kind of um, obviously we're not, we're not anything close to the full features in this little demo we're doing here, but it was kind of a bit sort of unsure exactly how this how this game is gonna have sort of deep engagement that we you know comes easily with PvP. Um, you know, combat is, is something that is it sort of is very um uh, has a lot of engagement, a lot of retention, um, a lot of sort of certainly for the male psyche, um, a lot of you know uh, obvious stuff you can do. Um, obviously, as I say, there's been plenty of these sort of sort of, sort of theme sim type games over the years. Um, so so, um, uh, but you have to. They end up being quite complex. So um, this game, although it is originally when, when, when first sort of shown, we were wondering sort of what the what the um, audience sort of split would be. Is it designed? Is it sort of uh, you know fifty fifty male female? Um, is it going to be more female focused? Um, not to say that obviously women aren't interested in this sort of micromanagement, um, but but this seems to be um, much less gender. Um, it seems much gen much more gender balanced than, than potentially um, I thought it might be at the start. Okay, let's see if we can finish this bit, this off here. I don't know, quite know why. Um, I need some more wood, and he's oh, he's been in there. Really. Maybe we should get her to go and do get some wood. Oh, but they're both getting wood. I don't know. You know what that little that little uh, cog means? Looks like he's hungry, is he? Cancel work. Well, I don't know what work he's doing. Okay. So you see how much wood, this doesn't say how much wood we got there, does it? Let's see, see. Uh, wood capacity, uh, stores wood, doesn't say how much wood's in there. But uh, looks like things are going. Yeah. But is he doing anything? Maybe we should um, cancel him. And then send him off to do it again. Can we send two people to do it? Don't really know what he's up to there. Okay, let's cancel him again. And let's maybe send her and see what happens. So this game is they call it beta, so so it wouldn't be surprised. Oh there we go. If there are some sort of issues. Um Okay, uh, there we go, and I've leveled up. Ah. Oh. Um, thanks for playing Everdale, um, um, another privacy sort of thing. Okay, um, right, so this is interesting. So this is the this is the Apple pr privacy sort of stuff that's come in uh, with the latest version of iOS. Um, so it's saying, um, you know, uh, they put this sort of splash screen up and basically what um, developers, game developers or app developers want you to do is they want you to allow, um, which basically means you get better ads. And this is this is sort of what the old... Before Apple changed it, this is what everyone had all the time. But now you can opt out, so the so the app it, um, wouldn't track you, and then you would just get ra random ad ads rather than um, uh, personalised ads. So it's interesting that they they've they've um, created it in this way, basically saying you, you, if you if you click allow, you'll get personalised advertising, which people you know uh, some people don't want advertising at all. But basically, they're telling you you're going to get advertising, so do you either, either want it personalised to you, um, which is actually much more valuable for the company. Um, or do you just want sort of uh, random ads? So this is interesting. Um, so this is the official Apple bit, um, and uh, Apple being Apple, have the uh, top option is ask the app not to track you, but then allow. And obviously, if we've read that little pop-up, which we probably won't, won't have done if we're a normal person, we can go allow that. So um, there we go. So it would be nice to, to uh, supercell. Right, so I don't quite know what this guy is still doing there with his little soup. He, maybe he's hungry. But there is no hungry, there is no hungry thing here, is there? I can't see, I can't see that. Right, um, need more soup, okay. Villagers are too hungry, okay. So uh, assign a villager to harvest pumpkin, oh, to harvest pumpkins, right, okay. So off we're gonna do, um, and then Santiago's belly can be um, filled with uh, pumpkin soup. 
uh, an upgrade is available. Uh, select the study to up. Select study. Okay. Maybe he can't do anything because he's too hungry. Um, um, I don't know really what's happening there. Um, I wonder if he'll do that. Oh, maybe he's had his soup now. Maybe he's raring to go. After all, all that soup. Right, I don't think I'm going to continue much longer really. I get you know, the point of these uh, first time music experience videos is to sort of do 10, 15 minutes. Um, obviously you can keep playing forever, but you sort of, um, you know, <laughs> becomes uh, much of a muchness really. So um, probably good, a good point in which to leave it. Um, lots of stuff we haven't looked into. Oh, it shows us the wood up there, of course, doesn't it? So it shows us the wooden soup we've got. Haven't got any gold at the moment. Don't know what those gem things are. I'm level two um, XP and leading towards the next level. I need four XP then, okay. Um, studies coming up there. New building is ready. Um, okay, so I need homes for, for villagers. We know all about that sort of stuff. Um, ready to start research. What am I researching now? Um, I don't, don't really care. <laughs> oh, can I choose? Right. Um, what have I got? Options. I don't really know. Um, oh, for the new villager. Yeah. Okay. So off we go. She's doing soup. He can do uh, building. Uh, building a house. All right, so we'll leave it there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we're doing some more videos about uh, Everdale. Um, obviously, it's sort of exciting for Supercell. Um, most of its games have been pretty uh, male focused, pretty uh, PvP heavy. Or PvP, PvE, PvP. Um, the first game they released actually was was a uh, Heyday, which is obviously a sort of farming sim, but but not a sort of really sim like this. So it's interesting them sort of coming back to non-violent ways after <laughs> over how many years? Almost ten years. Um, so. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if this change of direction sort of works. Obviously, we know with Supercell, this stuff is going to be a very high quality, so be keeping an eye on it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel, and see you again soon.